Who will win the Premier League 2024-2025? So today I'm going to be doing my Premier League predictions and hopefully I can get some right. Let's get into it. We're going to start with the relegation zone and um, unfortunately um, it's not very creative. I think that the three promoted teams from the Championship will be going down. Um, however, the order, I think Ipswich will be 20th, a team that went two seasons back-to-back -back promotions from League One. They were only there two years ago, I think it's just going to be step too much and then I think Leicester are going to be 19th I think if they would have kept their manager and kept a hold of their core squad like for example Dewsbury Hall they would have done well but with Steve Cooper I have not got any faith that they will stay up. In 18th we have Southampton now the reason I think they're going to be 18th um, is well the signings that they made they've signed a Man City centre back Hardwood Bellis who's been very good as well um, so I think they've, they've, they've managed to sign a few good players and, um, and I still think they, they'll just miss out. Now the teams I put just to miss out on relegation is Forest, Everton and Brentford. Forest, I think, have been down in that relegation zone a fair few times and I just don't know if they've done enough. They've sold. Uh, near Carte. Um, yes, they did get quite a bit of money for him. Seriously overpaid for Elliot Anderson, in my opinion. Um, they got in Milenkovic for 12 million, which is a very good price. So I put them 70. Next is Everton. Now, I was close to putting Everton to go down, but I looked at some of their signings. Jesper Lindstrom from Napoli is a good one. Um, did well in pre-season so far and um, so I think they'll stay up and as Sean Dyche the manager I don't think he'll ever let them go down. So 15th I've had Brentford, they haven't made any signings apart from the one they made in January, Igor Thiago which looks like he might be injured even, um, the brute striker, however they still got Ivan Tony kept the core of their squad unlike other teams. The three teams I've just put smack bang in the middle uh, are Fulham, Wolves and Bournemouth. Fulham have made some good signings, um, they've lost some good ones, Tosin and Rabai, the centre back, and Polinia. I was going to tip them way further down, um, but because of the signing Smith Rowe and the centre back from Villarreal, I think they'll do alright. Um, not great, but they'll, they'll manage. Uh, Wolves. The reason I've put them this high is one, because of the manager and because they've had a good pre-season, they've played quite well. And with Pedro Neto and Matteo Cunha um, up top, I think they'll get goals and, and, and they'll do well. Bournemouth at 12. Um, it's a bit of a risky one. They could easily have been further down. With Solanke getting them probably at least 10 goals next season, uh, I think Bournemouth will do well. They've got Alex Scott as well, who's a very, I think, they have a good season. Right, um, the next... The next teams who are just going to miss out on Europe, uh, I've gone for Brighton uh, in 11th. I think that with the new manager, we'll have see, for example, Valentin Barco. A few players stand out um, as Brighton usually do sign these uh, obscure players. I've then gone for number 10, Palace, who ended last season on great form. They've sold Elise. Mateta's playing in the Olympics, so he might come back unfit or not ready to start. So I'm gonna go for them 10th. Ninth, I've gone for West Ham. Um, it's maybe a bit of an optimistic one, but the signings we've got, Somerville, we've got Full Krug. Hopefully we can get some more signings through the door like wan or Tadebo. But I think we've generally got a good chance. Preseason has been bad, but I think that we can pull through. Number eight, narrowly missing out, I've gone for Newcastle. I just think they haven't made any signings that have stood out to me. Um, Asula is really the only big player they've signed, or Blackademos, the, the goalie from, from Forest. Yeah, I've been a bit disappointed with their transfers so far. Now, the three teams that I've tipped to go to Europe, but not Champions League. Seventh place is Man United. I just am not convinced about Xerxes and Yoro, and I'm not convinced about Tenar. It's a good performance against Man City the FA Cup. I don't know if he's fit for the Premier League. The next team I've got is Aston Villa. Now I know they're playing in the Champions League and they've bought some good players. They've only really sold Douglas Luiz um, as, as one of the star players. They've got Philogene who started well, Andrea Nana, which I think is a key one. 
I think they'll finish in Europe again, and um, I think they could even push to get another Champions League spot. In fifth, I've gone for Spurs. Second season with Big Ange, bought a few players. I still think that their high, high, high risk game is gonna concede loads of goals. Top four, I've gone for Chelsea in fourth. I think Enzo Maresca is a good manager, obviously strengthening. And Kunku, obviously injured a lot of last season. I think he'll start well. I think they'll get Champions League. I've then gone for Liverpool in third. I like the fact they haven't bought anyone because they have got a strong squad and they've not let go anyone massive. They've kept Salah and I'm intrigued to see Arnie Slot and I think he'll do well. Um, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Second place, I've gone for Arsenal again. I just can't see them doing it. They've not signed a star striker. They've got pretty much the same squad apart from Calafiori in defence, which is just... The area of the pitch, they did not need strength for me. I just think City, um, they're going to win. However, if Edison leaves, if, if you know if they have a few players linked out, if Julian Alvarez looks like he might go, I think they'll cruise to the top again. That's been all for this video. Thank you guys for watching the video. And um, let me know in the comments who you think is going to win the league. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.